68 kilos, Kennedy Blades with a dominating performance in that final matchup against Forrest Molinari. Mm-hmm. Kennedy, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Um, really excited. Um, I have God right by my side, so I'll go to God, of course. And without him, like nothing would be possible. So um, through him, he gave me strength and speed and the best technique. So I'm very grateful for that. What does it mean to you to be one step closer to that Olympic dream? I'm just like, I haven't really taken it in yet. I knew, I knew though that this was my goal ever since I was seven. And um, last year, 2020, I didn't make the cutoff by three months. So I was super upset because I wanted to be like the youngest Olympian. But um, the fact that, you know, COVID hit, and it's almost like a blessing in disguise. And um, I just have two more matches and I can make the Olympic team. So I'm super excited. Why do you say it's a blessing in disguise? Well, COVID really affected a lot of people in the world. And um, I unfortunately got COVID and I wasn't able to attend the uh, Captain's Cup. And, um, you know, but I think God did that on purpose because now since I still have the antibodies um, for like about 90 days, so I didn't have to worry about um, anything like it, it's just crazy because then they pushed it back to 2021 and 2003 was the cutoff and I was able to make it so um, I mean COVID is obviously not fun but um, it, it the because of COVID it was like I was able to attend this tournament so well, we're glad you're healthy and we're glad you're with us and a hundred percent uh, Kyle Clement got from track wrestling has a question for you. Go for it, Kyle. What's this been like with your high school classmates, your family? What kind of support have you gotten from them? Well, I've gotten a ton of support and even from people that, um, from people like when I was like seven years old and still watching me. So um, I have great support from the Wyoming Seminary, Um, all the teachers and all my classmates have been texting me and emailing me and um, you know, my number one support is in my family, and I'm so grateful for my dad and my mom for even making big sacrifices just <laughs> to make sure I get the right training and the nutrition and everything, and I'm just so grateful for my sister, especially she's been by my side, and she's been waking up early in the morning for 5 a.m. and braiding my hair every practice, and um, and then my little brother just being him, you know, it's like he, he doesn't know too much about wrestling. So it's just kind of nice to like step away from the sport and just go with him and give him a ton of hugs and stuff and play video games. So my family is my number one supporters and I'm just so grateful that I have them and, and then my classmates and my teachers and all my coaches and I'm just really happy. Kyle, any follow up? I do. Uh, Cadet World Championships, of course, didn't end the way you wanted to do in 2019. I think you suffered maybe some uh, a concussion there. How did you overcome that? Well, I knew it, I was very upset at the moment because um, I, I did beat the, uh, the girl I did get a concussion to and the, the world champ. So I knew I had a really good chance, but um, I didn't focus on that because you know, I couldn't just like uh dwell on that moment I just had to get back and in, back into work like after I was done I'm um, being cleared from my concussion I started going back to focusing on my speed and technique and um I, I knew that I had to get ready for the next world team trials but then COVID hit so yeah <laughs> it, was, it was a lot but um yeah when when I lose I I do get sad at the moment I mean everyone does but I try to not focus on it. You try to be positive and just thank God that he was giving me this opportunity. So, yeah. Final question for you. What's your favorite video game to play with your brother? Um, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I'm pretty, I, I beat him up sometimes, even though he thinks he's really cool. Or he's really good at it, but me and my sister kill him. So, and the amount of time he spends on it and I still beat him, which is pretty sad, but it's really fun. So. Yeah. Oh, we got another question for you. Derek Lewandowski, if you could also state your affiliation, go ahead.
Hello. You're Hello. good to go, Derek. Can you hear me? We yeah. can yeah, okay. go for it. All right. Hey, Kennedy, thanks for sharing about your faith and you know how important that is to you. That's really encouraging to hear that. Um, I just wanted to ask you about, you know, your approach tomorrow against Tamara Mensa stock. I mean, everybody knows who she is. We know what she's done. You know, as you've kind of had this escalating progression of tougher and tougher opponents as you've been <laughs> knocking down these senior level opponents and looking at tomorrow night, are you, do you change your tactics at all? Or do you just go into the, every match with the same mindset? Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I want to do and you know, not even think about who they are. Yeah, so um, every, every match, I don't think any different. You know, I'm, whether it's the first match or the finals, I know I just want to go out there and dominate. And um, I always tell myself I'm going to control the match. I'm not going to stop moving and I'm not going to get frustrated or anything. And um, that's what I'm going to go in there with the same attitude. And yeah, it might be like a little different as far as like the smoke and it might be dark and stuff, but um, right when I shake her hand, you know, it's go time. Like I'm just gonna do a Kennedy Blades thing. So yeah, I'm super excited. And Derek, if you have any follow-up, go ahead and unmute yourself. I did meet you just for the arena noise. No, I'm good. Thanks, Kennedy. I appreciate you sharing that. All right, Kennedy, congratulations on your win. We look forward to watching you wrestle tomorrow night. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.